Hi, welcome to our kitchen oasis. Today I'm going to show you how to make gyoza pastry and also using the gyoza pastry I can show you the great snack this cheese gyoza. Kids are going to love it. Welcome to Kitchen Oasis. Today I am going to show you how to make gyoza pastry. Here I've got 300 grams of plain flour, one gram, about quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and 150 milliliter of water. Now I add the salt first. Just a little stir and then lukewarm water into the mix. And mix, mix, mix. So it's not a really sticky dough, it should come clean fairly soon. After roughly mixed, you can just put it on a bench and incorporate all the flour. As you can see, it's a fairly dry dough. Now it's pretty much all incorporated. Anything on your hand you just get rid of. So after a while it gets like that. It's not really a smooth dough but after resting a while it becomes very elastic. So you don't have to knead it that long as long as it's all nice and no flour left that is good enough make it nice round shape without any creases Now you can put it back, put the lid on um, leave it for an hour or longer. 
Okay, one hour later, the dough is nice and elastic. And I'm going to show you how to make wonton pastry and gyoza pastry. Gyoza pastry is round and wonton is square. And I use wonton pastry because it's a lot easier to make. But I'm going to show you gyoza pastry anyway. I'm going to cut a small piece and the rest I put it back in the container so that it doesn't get dry out. I make a log and cut in small pieces like that. Make a round shape. And just roll it like this. Try to make it a round shape. And if it's sticky, you can use corn flour so that it doesn't stick to the bench. And it's quite easy to spread like that. Now it's done. Now after you make it, um, you might want to cover it with the tea towel. so that it doesn't dry out. But the reason why I use um, wonton pastry for gyoza is simply because it is a lot easier. I'm gonna show you how. I cut in, say, about half. And then you would like to roll it into a um, rectangular or square shape, so not the round, because the end product is going to be a square. So you try to roll it like this, and you leave a little bit of chunk like that, and then turn the direction and then roll it like that. Add a little bit of um, corn flour. As I said before, this is a very dry dough so it doesn't stick too much. to make it sort of straight if you're possible but it doesn't matter you can just chop it to make it straight anyway it's getting thinner now fairly thin now and if you put your hands like that you can tell which part is too thin or too thick so if you find a thick area you can just put the rolling pin there so that you have a nice even pastry now it's sort of I don't know whether you can see my hand through, so it's fairly thin. Quite easy dough to deal with. 
Now, you can go precise and measure the length properly, but I just go freehand. Just, um, you can use it later. Just leave it. About seven centimeters, eight centimeters, something around that size. But again, you can do whatever the size it is. And then once you cut it, you put it on top. The width stays the same. Repeat. It doesn't have to be pretty. And then I just put this on top so that I get, can get rid of the bits. Um, not good. So fold in half as a guide, it's about there to make square. Again, this is just not long enough, so So here's one ton pastry. A lot quicker to spread the big piece than doing this individual. And you tend to get the thinner result with one ton. So, but either way, um, this is how you make one ton or gyoza pastry. Now I made the pastry. So I'm going to show you how to do a really quick and easy snack using this. Um, I cut up some Colby cheese into a small piece like that, like a kid's pinky size. And then you can just put it like that and roll it. And then at the end, you just press it down. What other kinds of cheese would be good? To... Well, mozzarella, but I do not recommend cheddar because it melts too much. So I really recommend Colby cheese or probably mozzarella cheese. And um, because it seems to keep the shape. So you just roll it and then press it down and then you can just cook it on the frying pan remember the off cuts i had before it's you can use it again like a biscuit dough but the tip is you just make a good ball and make it make sure that it's one piece and leave another one hour before you start rolling because it's tightened now so it's it's a bit stiff so if you leave another hour or even tomorrow um, it's gonna get the elasticity back so just to make sure that you Make a bowl and leave another hour before you start re-rolling. Now I am going to cook the cheese gyoza. So frying pan, relatively high heat, and it's nice and warm now. Fair bit of oil, probably half a tablespoon.
And then now uh, we can place the cheese girls up um, separately, I think, not touching with each other. Nice sizzle. And it will make it nice and crispy. And with cheese girls off, I'm going to wait until it's brown on both ends. I'm going to use the tong to turn it. One side is brown and probably turn the heat down a little bit. As it is cooking the other side, I add a little bit of water, not too much, and then put the lid on. cook it another one minute or so and then the other side is um, nice nicely brown and And the cheese is now melting. And it should be ready very soon. Just make sure that pastry is cooked through because you don't want to eat raw pastry. I might wait a little bit longer. Might add a little bit more water. Just making sure that pastry is cooked. When the water's evaporated, that should be done. Here's the cheese gills are done, quick and easy. Other quick and easy ideas are ham and cheese, herb and cheese, you name it. Please let us know in the comments section if you make anything different. And I'm going to show you how to make pork gyoza filling in another video. Thank you for visiting our kitchen oasis. See you next time.